So in my therapy sessions, I have been learning to counteract the evil that was said to me, the lies that were said to me. And it really has caused me to rethink everything that I've grown accustomed to believing. And it's going to happen one by one where I counteract these lies, you know, because when you're told by somebody that you're no good, then you start believing it. You start seeing through the eyes of those lies. You start believing it. And if anyone gives you any kind of compliment that counteracts that, you won't believe it because of what you were told. And that's one of the things that I, I will eventually be getting into in this video is hoping to come against any kind of lies that you were told personally in your life to where you can eventually fight that and not believe them anymore. Because those are one of the things that can really keep us from really also walking in spiritual maturity is by carrying that baggage with us. We want to be free completely away from the world. It says, do not love the world or anything of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Well, believing the lies as well, that what we were told by people that didn't show us love, people that were hurt, that is also loving the world. So we can't believe anything that we were told about ourselves from a negative light, from what God wouldn't say about us. So I really, uh, I pray this message helps you. I pray that it speaks life into you to where you can start coming against any kind of lies, fighting them and bringing you to the, to the truth of who God has made. Because God has made all of us special. And all of us with gifts. So, in this world, the world in itself has an idea of what is handsome and what is beautiful. And, you know, when we go to the store, you know, when we're, we've checked out and you know, we go to the cashier, we happen to notice magazines and stuff, and you see images of these ladies that are on the cover, or you see images of men that are on men's health. And it gets people thinking, okay, well, I don't look like that. And you start comparing yourself to these people that are on the cover of the magazine. But the question is, how much of it is photoshopped? How much of it is a filter? How much of it is not really true? And so we start comparing ourselves. And if we were ever told negative in our lives, then that's sort of like in our minds, it confirms that supposed truth to where we believe it. And then the negative starts coming from those thoughts. So, this world, like I said, has the notion of what is nice looking. And I already spoke about, you know, magazines, photos, and then you see, you know, images of models. And that only reinforces the negative that was told to you by this world. That you don't measure up. That you don't look like that. And if you don't look like that, then you are not special. You're not as special as these people that this world is portraying. And I'm not speaking negatively of any models or anything or anybody that's on the cover. Because we don't know about their lives. We don't know about the negative that they have to deal with. Of the expectations placed on them about what is beautiful. And they're also going through hardship in their lives. And we don't know it. We only see the cover and we think that their lives are so glamorous, but the question is, are they really? So 
we have all these examples and we we try our best to want to look like these people and stuff but the negative from that is what is the people that are trying to measure up to these people what are they dealing with you know how many ladies and i don't know if it's men that deal with it but how many ladies are dealing with bulimia because they're told that they're fat and i've seen a lot of pictures of ladies that were bulimic and they were not fat at all they didn't it looked like they didn't have an ounce of fat but this is a psychological issue it's something that needs to be healed in them to where they need to know that they are beautiful and this is just the negative conception that this world throws at people about what is beautiful and what is handsome so this world wants you to conform to their image of what is these things and you know i know personally you know i i would go in to the supermarket and when I went to the checkout, I would see images of guys and stuff. And, you know, I have an, I had an image of when I went to high school about what the, the, what I thought was cute. And I see like, all all these cute guys deserve to have these cute girls and, and stuff like that. And I'm not worth it because I don't look like that because here I was an obese teen teenager and in that all the negative that was told to me you know i would think that i'm not worthy of having a relationship and so it only reinforced the negative in my mind and so i started believing the lie there goes my confidence i didn't have any confidence to approach a girl because you know that negative in my mind was forefront and so if I happen to get any compliments from people about how cute I was, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe those words because of what was told to me, all the negative. I didn't believe the positive that was ever told me. I, I was believing the negative and that was reinforced in my mind. And so, like I had said, the, the confidence that I had or didn't have, I, I never used. I never learned how to walk in it. You know, I didn't have anybody to teach me otherwise to where I was cute or handsome or anything. So, you know, I'm sure that you have also dealt with that very thing that people had spoke negative to you and if you had any kind of positive compliments you didn't believe them because of what was told to you so it's the hardest thing in this world where we're trying to compare ourselves to what in our minds of what we think is handsome or beautiful and so we have this negative in our minds that we are believing. And so this is the hardest thing to get by. And it's one of the things that not only the world deals with, but also Christians. We're also dealing with this. And it's one of those things that really can hold us back from walking in the truth. So we need to really dismiss what this world says is true of what is handsome and what is beautiful and we need to believe the truth about who we are so currently each of us are has a lens that we are seeing through and this lens is the the world's lies that we have believed and you know just like a camera where you, you could take a lens off if it's broken and put a new one on. And so this is what we need to do. We need to remove the lens of the lies that we had believed 
of, of what is handsome and what is beautiful. And it's sort of like changing our minds. So we need to remove this lens and put the lens on that God has supplied us and what, what he has said in his uh, truth, what he has said in the Bible, what he says to each of us personally for opening our ears to him. We need to put his lens on. And so with this new lens, we can start seeing the truth of what God wants us to believe. But with that current lens that we have of the world, the, the world in itself dismisses the good qualities that we have. And the enemy does this purposely so that we will believe lies. So if we have anything that is positive, you know, we have a good character, we have giftings and, and all these other things, the world will dismiss that and say, well, you're not measuring up to what we think is beautiful and what is handsome. So with this new lens that God has given you, remove the old one of the world and put God's on. So with this new lens, let me ask you, what qualities do you have that are good? What giftings do you have? Uh, what is your character? List all the positive qualities. I would say pause this video and write down the questions for yourself. And this is for you to counteract lies. The first question is, what qualities do you have that are good? You know, like for me, you know, I'm caring, I'm compassionate, I believe I'm empathetic, you know, I, I'm patient and, and stuff like that. So those qualities write down and then the giftings, what giftings has God given you that would help people? You know, maybe you are somebody that helps others. Uh, maybe God has given you musical giftings or Whatever giftings it have, it could be writing, it could be uh, singing, you know, things like this. Write those qualities down, the, the, the giftings that you have. And with these, you're going to counteract what this world has said. And the next thing is, you need to go through scripture the first thing that you can write down is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Write that down. And, you know, as I said in my therapy sessions, you know, I was told to counteract all the lies and transplant the truth. You know, so I had to basically say that God doesn't make junk. And, and for me to say that I am not handsome and I'm not good looking is criticizing what God has made. So you can write that down. The world wants you to believe lies, but God wants you to see the truth. And we don't want to ever accuse God, you know, or insult him stating that he, he made you ugly because it's not true at all. That's what this world wants you to think. So write down the qualities you have, write down the giftings you have, and write down the character, each of what God has given you. And you need to displace the lies that was told to you and believe the truth. So there has to be a refocus. We need to see with God's eyes and not the world's any longer. And so you need to, with each... with each lie, transplant it with the truth and start speaking it over yourself. No longer believing what people have said to you in the past, the negative that was said to you. I would say, forgive those people that have hurt you and have spoken lies over you and then forgive them and then walk in the new way. And then lastly, 
you know, speak the truth of who you are in God and no longer what this world says. So, you know, when, if you were ever told that you are not beautiful or you are not handsome, you say, I am. And, you know, when this world says that you have nothing to offer, you come against it and say, I do have something to offer. And then you give your reasons of what you have. See, we can't look at ourselves like we have used to, you know, what people have said to us. We can't look at ourselves like that anymore. We need to walk in who we really are, coming against any kind of uh, lies and stuff that would tear us down. You know, it's, it's one of the things that when I'm given a compliment now, I'll say thank you, but I could still see in my mind, I'm, I'm like fighting the, the thought that I am not cute. I am not handsome, but it's not right. It's not true. So I'm coming against it and I'm starting to say thank you to people that are telling me that. And it really does help, you know, because it, each lie has to be displaced one by one. And it may take some time, but it can happen. And we need to start walking in the confidence that God has given us, that we do have something to offer. We have giftings, we have character, and it's something that we can offer. If we're single, we have a lot to offer somebody, you know, so I pray this video has blessed you and uh, let's walk in the truth together.